right. Our last speaker of this session is Dr. Michael Bostwick, who's a professor of psychiatry uh, on our Rochester campus. Um, Dr. Bostwick is going to talk to us about suicide. This has been an interest of his for quite a while, and sometimes thinking about it in unconventional but very helpful ways. And so we welcome his thoughts. Thanks. I'm not sure I'm unconventional and postprandial. Those are sleepy combinations, but I'll try to keep you awake. Learning objectives. OK, um, I want you to be thinking about acute versus chronic factors. I think these two things get conflated all the time with very confusing results. And I'll try to make that point for you. Um, looking for uh, under, uh, identifiable narrative patterns that underlie suicidal crises, I don't think we often enough think about the crisis of suicide and look for the story that drives that crisis. And finally, a little bit about medications and how they're applicable in acute versus chronic settings. So uh, two dimensions of suicidality. Uh, the chronological, I think, is really important. Um, there are acute issues and acute crises that occur. And there are chronic uh, situations that set people up to be at risk of suicide. And then some people who are always suicidal. Um, is this something, is, is the thing that you're dealing with at any given moment, is it new onset or is it recurrent? Because you respond to those in very different ways. For some people, recurrent suicidality is part of their character structure and part of how they manage stresses day to day. Um, for many people that we encounter, though, it's something new and not familiar to them and probably to, uh, to us. Is it episodic, that is, is it associated with other things going on like recurrent major depressive episodes, or is it characterologic, again, part of a coping strategy a person uses day to day? And finally, is it free running, that is always there, or induced by uh, recognizable stressors? Now, I'm going to say more about stressors as we go along, but I'm very much of the opinion that our goal in suicidal crises is to figure out what the story is and what we can do to change that narrative right now, which I, I was not taught to think of it that way, but I think it's a helpful way to think of it. There's also a qualitative issue that we need to keep in mind for one of these two dimensions. The issue of comorbidity is important. Is suicidality only around when a person is having exacerbation of their major mental illness? Um, is there agitation or anxiety? Now, the things that I read and probably you read focus on depression, but I think the really important point is whether that person is agitated to the point that they feel the need to act to relieve their agitation. People with depression, in my experience, mostly are depressed. They don't want to do much. They're just 